Hi, welcome to Snooker Success. My name is Andrew Green and in these videos we're going to show you the basics of a good cue action. And that's going to involve the stance, the bridge and the grip. And that cue action is hopefully going to provide a reliable and consistent method to enable you to play this wonderful game of snooker to the best of your ability. So when we're looking at the stance, we can look at two different types of stance. You can have the boxer stance, which is more traditional, or you can have the square run stance, which would be considered more modern. So what I'm going to be showing you is based on a right-handed player, but obviously if you're left-handed, you would just reverse everything. So the boxer stance first, as you would expect, it means that one leg, the left leg in my case, is in front of the right leg. We stand about a shoulder width apart, at least, for stability. So the right foot is placed on the line of the shot with the toes pointing slightly out. The left leg is placed in front of the right leg, toes pointing out the other way, into a boxer stance position. The right leg becomes braced and the left leg is bent as you form the stance. This gives you a very, very good solid stance removing any movement of the body so that it allows you to freely use your cue action. With the square on stance, both feet are adjacent and perpendicular to each other and both facing down the line of the shot. We keep the feet a shoulder width apart. We step with the right foot into the line, left foot obviously if you're left-handed, but the difference is, as opposed to being turned out, the foot is down the line of the shot. The left leg then comes in perpendicular to the right leg, left foot pointing down the line of the table, right leg braced, left leg bent, down into the shot. Both of these are equally as effective to maintain stability. And to be honest, which one you choose is really down to you. And that's the stance. Join us again for more videos at www.snookersuccess.com.